Welcome back, the fastest man on the motherfucking planet. <laughs> Get out the cut. Uh, season four of The Flash, episode one, the premiere. Bada boom, one take review. I'm happy. Ah, y'all know. I love The Flash. Season three wasn't the best season to me because I think season two was really, really, really good because I like how Zoom came in and put you up. But Sabaton was cool too. But I really enjoyed season two. Season three was okay for me. I liked it though. Like, nonetheless, I really, really liked it. Uh, and, it came, and we're back with season four. And, and I thought, in my mind, I'm thinking, hey, okay, I'm pretty much put, let me put this like this. We pick up six months after Barry went into the Speed Force. We have Iris, we have Vibe, we have Kid Flash, and we have Joe. Them pretty much the only four people who really run the thing. But they pretty much doing their job, like trying to take down crime and everything. Until this samurai super motherfucker fall up on a set and start whooping ass. Dog. He was so tight. It's ridiculous. He really came in. <coughs> Like he was going to work, dog. The one, the one on one he had with Wally, when Wally was just like Flash, bruh, it was some dope shit. And he just hit him with the sword in the leg. He like, and he pulled that bitch like, get over here. And I'm like, dog, that's pretty dope. I really like the samurai dude. I wish they could have like slashed a little bit longer, but I guess it was pretty much just so they can get Flash out the speed for. And we did get Flash, and Barry was taught Barry's Barry's on like Perk Six, uh, Xanax. Uh, he was on some serve. Uh, he, he was on acid. He was on a lot of stuff. <laughs> when he came out the street for us, he was on a lot of stuff. I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. Just out of nowhere, Irish comes up with the idea, yo, let him, I'm going to get captured and I'm going to put my faith in and you know the fly. You, I didn't, listen, one, one thing about it, I didn't think they were going to pull him out the speed for this fast, but then again, I'm thinking, shit. Motherfucker love the flash. Better get his ass back. They like, I mean, don't get me wrong, everybody like the kid flash, but like motherfucker love the flash. I ain't lying. They love that motherfucker. But Kaylin's back. We got the crew back. Only thing we ain't got is the HR. We probably gonna pick up one from like Universe 13 or something like that. We're gonna grab one and just bring him in. He'd be the new HR. <laughs> if they do that again, though, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if they're gonna do it again. Because uh <laughs> HR is like me having a lot of luck <laughs> but I, I enjoyed this episode I enjoyed the way they made Iris seem a lot stronger with the fact that she did want to she, she came to the realization that you know, Barry's gone but at the same time they, they're trying to get him back but she's like no that's not you know what I'm saying he's gone you know I'm I understand that you know what I'm saying I really I understand where she was coming from because it's like yo just leave it alone he's gone but then again, it's just, and I, the part that really got me was like, Cisco, like, hey man, what's your motherfucking problem? He was like, motherfucker. But it basically was like, if this was a, it wasn't a PG 13, he basically was like, hey man, what's your motherfucking problem? Y'all, if you don't want your boy back, you tripping. And I needed that because it seemed like Iris was pretty much too much in control. And it seemed like everybody was pretty much walking on eggshells because they trying to see how Iris is doing. And Cisco got tired of it. He was just like, yo. I, I'm trying to get him back. I don't know what the hell wrong with you. You ain't got to be a part of this. Like, and so she pretty much wasn't when he went out to, you know what I'm saying, try to get her. I enjoyed that part a lot. Kaylin's back. Like I said, Kaylin's back. I, I'm really enjoying that. The whole thing, I, I, really, I, I like how they moved it. I, I was like, it was a nice introduction episode of season four. Then I know the main villain, this is the thinker. You know, we see him at the end. I, I think that's going to be a lot better because the first three seasons, we've only had speedsters. Now we have somebody who barely gonna have to think faster than. And like this, this, I think this is gonna be a really good season, man. I think it's really because it's something. It's it's so different. Now it can, now listen, it can, it could be bad because it's so different. But at the same time, I think it's gonna be really good. So you guys, let me know what you thought about season four premiere of the Flash down in the comments below. Hit that like button before you go. Follow my, subscribe to my channel for more DC TV reviews. <laughs> I'm there at that time. Uh, also, link in my description for all my other social media I like, I let so you guys want to just hit me up on there. Just let me know you follow me. Follow my YouTube channel, and I'll follow you back. Thanks for watching.